Darwin's always been a place of opportunity. You look at sunsets, you look at crocodiles floating through the beaches and you think, seems like a scary place to go. But what the issue with Darwin has always been is it's so isolated. What we found specifically pulling some of the census data, we discovered that there is a much higher incidence of young small business ownership in Darwin than elsewhere. So to design services around youth who are into enterprise, was a really good move for us. Uh, there's an over-representation, I guess, of services like I provide in the bigger cities. Once you start to get to smaller cities of under 200,000, you start to see a drop-off where the services such as um, expertise in Google, expertise in social media, expertise in cloud software, drops off dramatically. And these are the services that are priced in such a way that regional Australian small businesses could probably benefit more than anybody so I founded the Darwin Small Business Network as a way of facilitating that exchange between small businesses where they're not sitting in a silo, they're not looking to do everything on their own. They can draw on the resources of a much broader community to learn new skills in those areas I know I could teach and then bring in other people who could you know, show how to gain grants from the government, how to pull their own census data. You combine data with a bit of expertise in any kind of area and you've got a really powerful tool to grow a business.